Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to create a table in SQLite. A table is the fundamental unit in which we store data inside a database. So to get started, let's assume we want to create a database first. A database um, is like a big bucket that contains many tables. So let's say we want to create a database called students.db and we want to create it inside this particular folder, uh, which is uh, drive E codable SQL. So within this, what you need to do is just click on this this space here and then just type cmd and press enter and when you do that the windows command prompt will become visible and then now you can type in sqlite 3 space students.db so students.db is the name of the database which will contain our data and sqlite 3 is a command for running the sqlite 3 software press enter and now you are inside the SQLite software. You can see all the existing tables within the software by just typing dot schema. Currently there are no tables, so there is nothing here, but we're going to create a table. So just remember the hierarchy. First you have the database. Within the database, you can have one or more tables. We are going to create our first table now. So let me start keying in the commands to create a table. So the command is create table create table is a reserved set of words that are part of the sqlite language which lets you create a table now the name of the table that i'm going to choose is students so this is a table about students notice that the database is called students and the table is also called students which is fine and now open parenthesis and you can press enter because we are going to enter some additional information so when you do that, SQLite shows you the next line, which is a slightly different uh, from the SQLite prompt here. It's a dot, dot, dot greater than prompt. And I can type in information about my table. My first field in my table is ID, which is the student ID. And it is of the type integer. And I'm also going to call it a primary key. A primary key is nothing but a field in a table that uniquely identifies individual records in the table. And we'll take a look at what this means in a, in a little while in an example. The next field is first name, text, last name, text, and GPA, which is the grade point average for an individual student of the type real. And then I can press close parenthesis and follow it by semicolon. So once I press the semicolon and press enter, then SQLite knows that I am at the end of my data entry and it will get me back to the original prompt, SQLite prompt. But until then, until I hit the semicolon, it'll keep showing the greater than sign like this so that I can enter multiple lines. Again, to look at the hierarchy of how the data is stored, you have the database, which is a bucket that contains several tables. One of those tables that we have defined is students. In the students table, there are several fields. We have defined four fields, ID, first name, last name, and GPA. Each of these fields has a data type. ID is of the type integer, which, is, which means it's a number. First name is of the type text last name is text and GPA is a real number that means it can contain decimal values and we have also specified that the ID is a primary key that means if you have multiple students in this table then each student has to have a unique ID two students cannot share the same ID number if you specify ID as a primary key then SQLite will keep track of these IDs and it will make sure that you are not accidentally entering two records that is two separate students with the exact same ID. It will enforce that. So um, having defined our table, we will now try and see if there is anything in this table. We, there'll be nothing. So I'm going to enter a simple select query. Select star from students, semicolon, press enter. And you will see nothing in return because the table is empty. We are now going to insert some data into this table. So I'm going to type in a new command, insert into students. And I can specify the 
uh, field names into which I want to insert data ID comma first name comma last name comma GPA press enter values and I can enter the values let's say ID number one first name is uh, Bill and last name is Smith and GPA is 3.45 semicolon enter and now if you do select star from students and I just press the up arrow to choose previous uh, commands and down arrow to choose next you know later command so I'm just going to press an up arrow to select this previous command select star from students press enter and now you see that whatever we entered here is showing up in the results let's enter another data point I'm going to say I'm going to give a different name now And when I try to do that, I deliberately gave the ID of one for the second student as well. And uh, as expected, SQLite told me that the unique constraint has failed. That is, it is enforcing this particular rule that we specified that ID should be a primary key. And I violated that rule by entering the same ID for both these students. So that's what that's why this particular insert did not succeed so I'm just going to make that change and, and I'm going to say from one I'm going to say two and this time it should work so this time if I say select star from students I should see two records here both the records that I've entered one last thing I want to do is I want to find the average GPA of these two students so so what I'm going to run is I'm going to run a different query uh, please don't worry about these queries right now we'll go over it in detail in subsequent videos i'm going to find the average of the gpa field from students and predictably i'm getting the average of 3.45 and 3.55 which is 3.5 so what we did just to recap we created a table first we created a database called students.db then we created a table called students with four fields in them and then we went over what the data types are integer text and real we went over what a primary key is and then we inserted some data into these into this table we tried to insert data with the same primary key value which is id and it rejected that and that's what it means to enforce a primary key constraint and then we corrected that and we install we inserted uh, the appropriate data and then we were able to compute the average of the gpa based on this data. So I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.